All right, in three, two, one, fire. Wow, look at that destruction. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. And today, I will be showing you how to make destroying things significantly more fun. So, this is another add-on that I have been working on lately, and it's called Artillery Craft Add-on. And it has a lot of destructive power, so put your helmets and goggles on, because we're going to play explosively. Anyway, with all that being said, let's get right into it. So in this add-on, there are currently two artillery guns present, the Basilisk Cannon, and this huge Typhon Heavy Cannon. Wow, that name alone is really scary to hear though, lol. So these guns have a general usage, pure destruction. And these big boys can be really useful especially in survival. So how can we actually get these in survival Minecraft? Don't worry cause I got you covered. So first is we're going to craft the fairly medium sized cannon. First, we need to go mining for iron, lots of them. And gold, I'll explain that to you later. And finally, gunpowder. We need to craft iron blocks and place it into a pattern like this, and then put an iron ingot on top just like this, and voila! We now have a basilisk cannon. But take note though, once you place it, you cannot break it anymore because it does not take damage from all attacks except from explosions. Once it has been destroyed, it will drop itself and we can place it again whenever we want to. So be careful when holding it, you might just put it on the ground accidentally, and we can also remove this though without explosions. All you have to do is type in the command right here. So the next part, how can we actually get this thing to work? So with the excess iron, gold, and gunpowder that we got from our grind, let's now craft the artillery shell that we will use to load the guns. Now for the recipe for the shell for the basilisk cannon looks like this, and it will give you one artillery shell that you can load into the gun. We used gold on the base of the shell because gold is a good electricity conductor, and we needed to ignite the gunpowder inside, geez, that's quite educational, lol. Now, the basilisk cannon takes exactly 9 seconds to reload, so you might want to wait before you can actually fire it. Once you fire it with a flint and steel, the round goes to a fairly long distance, and a fairly good explosion radius. Not bad for a medium-sized cannon. Also, take note that this cannon takes 3 seconds before you can reload it again, as you can see that it's currently recovering from recoil. So with all that being said, let's now move to the real deal here. Behold, the Typhon Heavy Cannon. This thing is massive, and this behemoth can fire its deadly round to a range of whopping 16 chunks. Now that's more like it. And its round also has a much wider explosion radius. That way, we can clear out an entire mountain in just a few rounds. Oh my goodness. With this gun within your grasp, you are virtually unstoppable. So guess what I'm about to do? Destroy this nether fortress. As I've said, you will be unstoppable when you have this in your arsenal. In other words, you can basically obliterate anything in mere moments. That's super awesome. Okay I'm getting a little hyped here, lol, I almost forgot how we can actually craft this. So in order to craft this gun, we will be needing a stronger material, that's right, netherite. So why do we need netherite instead of iron? We obviously need a stronger material for the gun to handle a much more powerful explosive force, if we ever use just iron, just one shot and this gun will blow itself up to bits, bringing you along with it, lol. So we managed to find enough netherite to craft a few netherite blocks, and the crafting recipe for this gun looks like this. The reason there's a glass block on top is it's actually for the scope because it obviously has a longer range, and we needed a scope so we can see far enough to aim for our target. So the next part is we are going to craft its massive rounds, and we need more materials to craft one. The recipe looks like this and it will give you one heavy artillery shell. Now this gun moves quite slow, it takes exactly 25 seconds to make a full reload before you can fire it. You can fire the cannon using a flint and still, and boom. You can literally feel its power just by hearing the explosion from the barrel. This gun is a menace, man. Also, it takes 12 seconds to make a full compensation from recoil before you can reload it again. Now let's see how quickly can it kill the ender dragon, and I haven't actually done this before. Alright, are you ready? 
in three, two, one, fire. All right, I'm not gonna spoil you too much right now because I want you to test this add-on out yourself. By the way, I'm not going to release it just yet because I have a lot of tweaking to do, and it would take a few days to about a week or so to finish, and I will release it immediately as soon as I settle things out. Oh by the way, you can follow my Twitter account to get updated of upcoming Minecraft content and what is the status of the add-ons I'm currently working on, maybe I'll even release some of the add-ons there. So make sure to follow me on Twitter. So anyway guys, that's it for now for this video, hope I said everything clear, let me know in the comments if I've missed something. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.